Hello everyone, welcome back to Jack Scraps and thanks for joining me today. I have my September design team project for Calico Collage to share with you and I will be using the beautiful haunting collection. So let's dig right in. The project that I created today was a old time hearse and a horse as well as a coffin journal. And what I'm showing you here in this video is the project that I created and it was so big, I had to film it in a different location to be able to fit the whole thing in view. I created a 3D horse and that leads into uh, the person that is steering the horse and that would be our Mr. Skeleton here and I created a cute little top hat for him. And then we go into the hearse. So the hearse itself has four wheels and the front two are movable. And then on the inside, I have a uh, coffin journal that I created and I've been wanting to create a coffin journal from some time now and I'm really excited that I created one finally. So that is the creation. Now let's take a closer look. So here is the project on my normal table that I film on, but because it is so large, I'm going to break these down to show you all the components. So we'll start with the horse first. So here's the horse, the 3D horse that I created and I use my Cricut Maker to do that. I use Memento paper uh, for the darker colors and then the mane and the tail have the uh, beautiful haunting paper on there, which I thought was a really great touch for that. Now, I did this in paper. I doubled up the two sides, uh, but because it still had trouble standing on its own, even though the Cricut Design Space shows that it will stand on its own, what I did was added a piece of acetate here, and I connected the front two hooves by the acetate, and that actually helped it uh, gain some stability there. So that helps out a lot. Now I wanted to do a harness for the horse, but because it wasn't, because the horse isn't very stable or very sturdy, I just ended up using some purple rickrack because it matched the color of the collection that I was using. So here is the front of the hearse. And as you can see here, this is part of the harness for the horse. Here is a um, step or seat for our little Mr. Skeleton here, and this is just from the Dollar Tree. I have him attached by a Velcro dot in the back. I didn't want to actually glue him on, uh, so I glued his head on with the Velcro, and then it just holds the whole skeleton in place, which is really neat. I used some bling here from the Dollar Tree. This is the adhesive wrap, and I just cut them in strips to decorate this piece. Everything you see has been cut out with my Cricut Maker, and then, of course, all of the paper you see is beautiful haunting. The top of the hearse, this actually comes off, so if you wanted to hide something in there that was very light, you could. I you know, probably wouldn't recommend it. The design for the hearse is in the Cricut Design Space as well. There were no instructions anywhere that I could find to put this together, so I had to figure it out myself, and it took some time or I would have videotaped the whole thing. Here is the side of the hearse. I cut out the wheels five times and glued those all together, and then it has a straw mechanism to hold the wheels together here, and then some of the pieces from the design space um, file were used to hold the wheels onto the hearse. I decorated the hearse as well with some of that bling and I really think it uh, came out really nice when I added that. This is a Jolie sticker here with the skull and then I added some little birdie flowers here on the top. I just think it needed a little something. And then on the, here's the back side. It's really hard to show you guys this. I may insert photos. On the inside, I put a little box in there to hold the journal because I wanted to elevate it. And then I added some felt over it so that it would cover the box. Let's move that out of the way. And then I will show you the coffin journal. So here is my coffin journal. I am really uh, 
happy with how it turned out. It is about seven inches long by three and a quarter inches wide. I created the template for this myself in Cricut Design Space and for the cover it is um, black felt. I had black adhesive felt that I got from Hobby Lobby. I cut out the coffin template and added that to a 110 pound piece of cardstock. So it's pretty weighted um, and a nice sturdy cover. Here's some more of the Dollar Tree bling and then up here, uh, this is uh, part of a ribbon, a lace ribbon that I cut apart. And these were the gems that were in the center. That was from Hobby Lobby. This is a Jolie sticker here I got last year. Super cute, I love that. Added some rosette trim to the spine here. And here's the back, I left it plain. Here's a little post hitch uh, for a closure. And let's go on into the inside. There are two uh, signatures and each signature has um, 10 pages and that's one sided so there's 20 front and back. The inside covers I left plain. I just added another piece from the collection, Digit Beautiful Haunting Collection, and added this little skull sticker here to cover the back side of the post. It didn't, you didn't really need to do that, but I just did it because it went with the theme. Each page of this um, journal has been sewn and I've added ribbon and everything throughout it. So you'll see gold ribbon on one side and then white on the opposite side. So here is uh, the collection pages. I added some ribbon up here. I kind of folded it and sewed across it. On the next page here, I added one of the ephemera pieces. I cut the Mr. and Mrs. skeleton out and added them there. Added some fun fur here and added some of this glitter ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I like it because it's kind of like netted. Really neat. The pages in this kit were beautiful and I just love how everything turned out. There was a whole page, I think, of stamps, which I absolutely love her stamps. I added some more fun fur behind that. And again, every page is sewn. Over here, I added some Dollar Tree ribbon again with the pumpkins and added this cute little sentiment, beautiful haunting. On this page here, I added another stamp and behind that is one of the ephemera pieces and I sewed a little leaves onto that. Over on this page, I just added a little button. Here's another one of those skulls and that's a sticker from the Dollar Tree as well. Here is some uh, leaf ribbon and I believe that's from the Dollar Tree also. There's a theme here. <laughs> I added another button here and then some black uh, dotted ribbon that I got from Zinc's Fabrics. I think that's the name of it. I love this page that I created as the centerfold. So beautiful. On this page I added some tassel trim from Hobby Lobby and then created a pocket out of one of the ephemera pieces here and on this one I just added a little bit of lace ribbon there and sewed around it as well. I added a little leaf down here from that ribbon. I added some purple lace. This was from the Dollar Tree also. And I left it empty, but you could insert something there. For, it's like a ballet band. I just didn't want to take away from the picture that was behind it. On this one, I added some more of that orange glitter ribbon and added two of the ephemera pieces. She had a lot of these like specimen type tags. Love those and I've used those. Here is some more purple glitter ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Now on this page, what I did here was I had a um, 
a spider web, silver spider web, and I backed it onto acetate so that I could tuck this cute little tag that I added lace to on the bottom right up in there without any problem. I added one of the little spiders from the kit there and some of the floral. Now over here I added another little leaf from that ribbon there and here. And when I was doing some of the sewing, I did some messy sewing as well to kind of go with the whole theme of the journal. So as you see in her kit, she has the messy sewing here. So I thought that went really well with it. Here's another one of those like specimen uh, little labels I added with some ribbon. On this next signature, I cut out the gate and grass in a glitter cardstock with the Cricut Maker. I fussy cut out the bird and added it here as well as this little moon right here. So cute, as if the bird was looking up at the moon. On the next page here, I had this purple mesh. I don't even know where I got it. It's uh, 12 by 12. It has like little purple and white splatters on it. So um, I put some of that down and then put, added some orange glitter washi and added the sentiment witchy woman. I thought that went well with the stamp down here that I made a little pocket out of. Added some lace there. And here is the little tag that I have in that pocket. On the next page, I just added some more of that little ribbon. I thought this page turned out kind of cute. I, um, these two images of the Mr. and Mrs. Skeleton <laughs> were in the kit and I made little pockets out of them and then added some of the ephemera pieces that she had. Here's one that says Nevermore. I backed that on black cardstock. I like how that's tucked in there. And this one says Trick or Treat. And then again, I added some of that black mesh here at the top. On this page, this was in the kit as well, I sewed around this and I used acetate to back this bat ribbon that I think I got that as Joanne's last year. So cute with the little kitty. And here is some of that purple lace. On this piece, on this page, I added a poison label with some fun fur and I left it as a little tuck spot. Here's the journaling card for that. Did a little extra sewing there, of a little like starburst. On this page, I Fussy cut out some of the flowers and made it a little tuck spot. Kind of goes with the skull that's here. Added one of those specimen labels, a leaf. And then here is the little journaling card. I did some more leafing sewing there. Really cute. On this page, I just added some lace ribbon to the top. And again, another beautiful spread for the center. So gorgeous. Over here, I just added some of that black mesh again. On this side, I made a lace belly band, and here is the journaling card for that. I like this one. It says silver plated coffin handles, and then it gives you some examples. Cute. Here I just fussy cut out some of the flowers to create a little tuck spot. And here are the journaling cards I put in there. I kind of shrunk all of the cards to fit into the journal. Added some lace here and of course some sewing. This one says, with kindred spirits tried and true, may Halloween be fine for you. Has a little owl with some little antlers and a little ribbon on the side. Added a little pumpkin from the ephemera pieces. I love the white, I love her pumpkins she has in here, the white ones and the black, really neat. Some ribbon and a button. A little moon dust label with some fun fur behind it. And again, I used a pumpkin as a tuck, tuck spot with a little leaf. Here is another stamp with some of the green ribbon there. 
some more ribbon at the top lace ribbon here and another skull sticker and some more leaf ribbon and on the back this is my favorite stamp of course this cute little kitty and I did add some of the mesh there I don't know I just love the the effect of the mesh on top of the photos but look how beautiful the floral is in this kit gorgeous 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 so that is my project for this month. I hope you have enjoyed it. It was a labor of love and it was nice to do something different. Um, so thanks a lot for joining me. See you next time.